whenever you're you're speaking to a homeowner and maybe if you've seen this before i'm not too sure how common it is uh, but a red line going across the tv screen and that could be persistent after turned on and off or it could be sort of happening you know intermittently uh is that something you've seen before and what would you recommend if, if so that is a very common thing to actually happen almost 100 percent of the time going to be a panel issue or a tcon issue now you can check this out by testing the internal settings on the TV, say if the menu takes over the whole screen, or almost every modern TV has a feature in their menu that allows you to do a picture test. So you can open the picture test, and if it persists, it's the panel, 100%. Right. Um, or that TCON board that we've talked about in a couple of the other questions which is the board that is usually bundled with the panel. Sometimes it's actually under the metal cover of the panel, so you can't even see it. And that's what translates the information from the main board to the physical data that needs to be used to make the picture appear, right. how it's intended to be done. So you will find, sorry, that, that is a really common thing that happens. Honestly, 90% of the time, it's on lower-end products. I don't know what exactly it is that they do with those that makes them makes that happen. I have seen it, I would honestly even go as much as to say 25% of all Vizio TVs, wow. I, get that, I get a line on that out of the box. Wow. So I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, most mm -hmm. likely. It's just that's about the number of ones that I went through. Mm -hmm. And that's the brand that my brain goes back to from my experience. Yeah. Yes, that's just the association that I made. I uh, Very recently in my new job in the office at one of the schools I work for, the TV in there had a pink line at the bottom, the green line, green line at the bottom, which is the same thing as the red line, because you have the red, green, and blue. So you can get a red, green, or a blue line. Yep. You can also get a white line. Uh, but very common, red and green. So it had a green line all the way across the bottom, and anything near that line was nearly impossible to, to see. Yeah, yeah. So even though that line only took up one, maybe two rows of pixels, anything in the area was just so unclear and had so much noise that it looked like kind of like uh, the road, the asphalt road on a hot summer day. <laughs> you get that mirage -y look. Yeah. Everything kind of looked like it was really wavy and moved a bit. Mm. And that's really common as well. It usually is not going to be, because it, it's usually not that the area, that one specific line is all that's affected. It's usually just a symptom of a problem, which is pecan failure, panel failure. There's not much you can do about it. So that, I've also put in a lot of Dell monitors recently because that's our standardized monitor for classrooms. Uh -huh. I And we just replaced eight schools in our district, all of them during the summer break with Dell monitors. Mm -hmm. And during that time, so that's about probably about 400 monitors putting in. Yeah. A good handful of them have lines in them, have wow. green or red lines in the mm -hmm. panel at the top. Sometimes it looks like it flickers in and out. If that's the case, it's usually a TCON board issue. There's not much that you can do about that. If it seems to be static no matter what you do and doesn't really change, it could be a panel issue. It doesn't really matter. You're not buying that board separate from the panel. It's almost never sold that way because it is very specifically tuned to what that exact panel needs. And just because you buy that model and then you go and buy a brand new model of the, the exact same model does not mean that they are made with the exact same parts. Right. They could source a different board. They could develop the main board to be smaller. Maybe they found a new way to get the same amount of power, less complicated, so it's smaller or more complicated because they wanted to add an extra layer of a heat sink mm -hmm. that they found may have been better there's definitely a lot of wiggle room that these companies are given for a product to be considered the same product. And so with that, that TCON board is very, very precise. Yep. It has to keep that precision. So if you get one that's slightly different, it just doesn't work. You don't get the, it doesn't time it correctly. It doesn't know the 
the way to present that information to the board. Okay. So those are almost always sold together. And it, this issue is almost always a dead panel in layman's dead panel. That's mm -hmm. what you're going to, what you're going to have return it. You usually find that right out of the box, right? Mm -hmm. It usually doesn't develop that far after you buy it. So hopefully wherever you got it from, you got a 30 day return policy, the very least a 15 day. Mm -hmm. I would never recommend buying an electronic from anywhere that does not have a good return policy and doesn't have a good record of returns. You should be able to return any product you buy, especially electronics, because they are so sensitive and they are so complicated these days. Mm -hmm. you just you don't want to buy something you can't bring back if you bought something that was bad. Yeah, especially when they're so hard to fix yourself, if not impossible. Yeah, whether that be uh -huh. manufactured impossibility or true impossibility for the layman. Yeah. So yeah, again, I guess with these lines, unfortunately, similar. Basically, they're dead. They're dead pixels in in another sort of version. Yeah, we can we can say that for lack of better words. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Essentially, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so hopefully this is just a new TV that you've bought, and then you can take it back to the shop and just get it swapped out, and yeah. hopefully no questions asked and no worries.